Hi, Scott Orlam with Cinema Magazine. The new film coming your way is called The High Note, and one of the high notes of the film is Dakota Johnson. Uh, Dakota, obviously growing up with famous parents, you being famous yourself, what type of interaction did you have with assistants? Um, well, I, I mean, my parents, when I was growing up, had assistants, and I was very close with them, and, and, um, and I'm really close with my assistant. She saves my life every day and I worship her. Um, but yeah, I've also seen some people have some pretty wild relationships with their assistants. So it can go many, many ways. Did you base your performance, I mean, with Maggie, I mean, because you've been around them, were there little nuances that you picked up to kind of embellish? Um. In, in some ways, but I really wanted Maggie to be a different um, kind of, I guess, different from what you usually see as a an assistant in a show or in a movie. And and um, I did base her more on on people that I do know and um, who are deeply human and and intricate and complicated and have have real ambition and focus and discipline and um, really want to strive to uh, be great and do great things. I pride myself on having a pretty good musical knowledge, but I was a little in awe of Maggie. I mean, of some of the things that she's going through the movie. So if we, you and I were to sit down, who would be the musical artist that you think you have the best background information on? Um, oh God, maybe Radiohead, um, maybe The Stones, Beatles, I mean, Nirvana, I'm trying to, I'm a nerd, I'm a music nerd, so I, I have a lot of random knowledge about people. Going through this experience, did it tap into any musical kind of wish fulfillment for you? Because I, I thought when she was sitting there on her keyboards with the headphone and adding the bass and the music, I thought, God, I, I wish I had that aptitude. Yeah, I know. I, I, well, I learned to play the piano for this movie and I had had lessons when I was younger, but um, it was satisfying for sure to be able to play songs you know it was a lot of it was a lot of work like piano lessons before going into hair and makeup in the mornings and um uh it was gratifying though in a way and and just to know that you can do it if you really put your mind to something you can do it let's have a little flight of fantasy right now i mean is for one day if you could be the assistant to somebody else living or dead just to go through that experience, who would you want to sit there and kind of get to know like that? Wow, there's so many people. I guess right now, Leonard Cohen, <laughs> if he had an assistant, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. I love the uh, grocery store pickup sequence because <laughs> I thought we've all kind of been in similar situations of either somebody, are they trying to hit on me? Are they just trying to have an awkward conversation? But what has been the best pickup line you have either experienced or you've heard via somebody else? Wow, Scott, <laughs> really coming at me with the hard hitting have fun with it. <laughs> it doesn't have to be personal. It could be something you've heard from somebody else. No, I'm, I'm trying to think. Um, it's okay. We can come back to something else. Uh, we'll come back. We'll come back. Uh, one of the things too is, I mean, you've actually been blessed because you've been working for a long time, you know, in this profession, but was there an awkward job that you had until you got like, as Maggie kind of paying her dues, was there something that you had to do prior to this? Well, I, um, 
Scott. Come it, on. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I've had, I worked in an art gallery when I was in high school. It was next door to my high school. And I was an assistant to one of the curators. Um, and I used to have to write up bios on, on artists and send them to him. And he was my brother's friend. And I think I mostly just had a crush on him. That's why I took the job. And I didn't realize that I had to like write essays on artists every day, which was so annoying. So then I think I just stopped even going. I don't think I quit. I just stopped showing up. I was focused on other things. Well, but even also like, you know, the beginning of still, I get turned down from jobs all the time. I get told no. So it's, con it's a constant hustle. Well, I'm glad they said yes to this one. I really enjoyed the movie, Dakota. Thanks. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. This is Scott Orland. Till next time.